This morning at the Heart Failure Association Summer Congress here in Vienna, we presented the results from our Circa LVAD gene therapy trial. This is the first ever gene therapy trial in heart failure patients with LVADs. We also enroll patients who had an antibody to the virus that's normally screened to see what happens. Because for all our patients, we planned to sample their heart with biopsies or receive their hearts if they went to transplantation to study the biology and the effects of the gene therapy on the underlying disease. We started in 2014 and recruited five patients before unfortunately we had to stop because we found out from a larger trial, the Cupid 2, that the gene therapy at the dose we were using was not uh, effective and for safety reasons it was appropriate for us to stop. So although it's underpowered, we have learned various lessons from the small cohort of patients who went through our trial. Uh, we did some biopsies, or two went to transplant, and we assessed their hearts and could detect the DNA. So we know that the adeno-associated virus that we were using could get the DNA in, just it was at far too low a dose between 100 and 1,000 times lower than what we'd seen in the preclinical models where we'd seen this gene therapy be very effective. And by targeting the calcium within the heart muscle that is dysregulated in heart failure, we really do think there's an opportunity here. So for the future, I think we need some more trials at higher doses. These doses need to be checked for safety. We found safety was, was appropriate in our patients. There were no virus reactions, no myocarditis in the heart samples we looked at. So we know the dose we've studied is, is safe, but it wasn't effective. And for the future, I think higher doses, really to test what the level is where we can see an impact. So the hypothesis is still alive, but we still have more work to do. This trial was funded by the British Heart Foundation. Our sponsor, Imperial College, also provided the trials unit expertise for a very complicated trial in this patient group. Uh, so we hope that the, the lessons learnt will be relevant to future trials of gene therapy, stem cell therapy and other novel therapies uh, for LVAD patients and the wider heart failure community.